Hello guys and welcome to a new band video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to whitelist on NordVPN. So now, the first thing that we need to do is to open our web browser and then we will need just to search for the NordVPN so we can be able to download it. So now, we are just going to type NordVPN on the searching bar and then we will need just to click on the first link and it will take us to the NordVPN.com. So we click on it or you can just click on the free download so basically after that we will need just to click on the download vpn and then we are going to click on the download app after that it will start to be downloaded and then we will need just to wait for the app to be downloaded so so we can install it on our desktop so i'm just going to double click on my app and then i'm just going to click yes so i can start the install I'm going just to click next and now the VPN is starting to be downloaded. So now all we need to do is to finish our uh, installing. I'm just going to add a desktop shortcut and I'm going to click, uh, click on install. And basically it will just take some few uh, seconds or a few minutes so the VPN will be installed on our PC completely. So after... Uh, this bar is done we will have our nordvpn that will be installed so i'm just going to click and i'm going to launch our nordvpn and now all we, it remains is to follow these simple steps and basically now you will need just to log into your account or you can just create a nord account so i'm just going to open our google chrome and you can log into your account and then it will redirect you to your uh, account here on nordvpn so now after that you have connected to your nordvpn application you will need just to go back to the site and then you will need just to go to your nord account and then you will need just to click on nordvpn after that we will need just to enable our smart dns so we can start whitelist uh, our ip address and then we are going to activate the smart dns and then you can start whitelisting and uh, filtering the ip addresses on your browser so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time